Welcome to Sandwiches of History. It is Guest Host Friday, and today we are joined by Vic. He's a former board member and a current crew member of the Jolly Rovers Trail Crew, which is a 501c3 nonprofit, fully volunteer group that goes out and rehabilitates hiking trails throughout the Northeast, uh, helping to bring access to iconic places. Uh, you can check them out at jollyrovers.org. Vic watches Sandwiches of History on YouTube. Take it away, Vic. Hello. Welcome to Sandwiches of History, Guest Host Edition. Today, from the new hamburger hot dog cookbook of 1968, we're going to be making the hot dog rip liars. First, we take one hot dog, but not a whole hot dog like this, chopped up into the consistency of coarse cornmeal. That's about as chopped up as it's going to get. Next, we add one quarter cup of chopped roasted lean pork. Next, two and a half tablespoons of grated American cheese, sharp American cheese. Next, one and a half teaspoons of grated onion. And finally, two tablespoons of mayo. We're gonna mix all that together. Next, we have to hollow out some of a hamburger bun, leaving a half inch thick wall. I'm not gonna get the calipers out for this. That looks good enough. And then we spoon the mixture into the sandwich. And we close up the sandwich, then we wrap it in tin foil and put that into a 375 degree oven. And after 15 minutes, we take it out of the oven. All right, let's give the hot dog rib liners from the new hamburger and hot dog cookbook a go. That is pretty tasty. The mayo, the pork, all that's really good. I think I know a way I want to plus this up though. Actually, two ways I want to plus it up. We're going to add Grillo's pickles, chopped up, and some dud mustard. And now that I went back in time and created a second sandwich, I'm now going to add chopped Granny Smith apples. Okay, let's give the hot dog rib liners plussed up with Grillo's pickles and deli mustard a go. Oh yeah, that's really good. Okay. Let's give the hot dog rib liners plussed up with chopped up Granny Smith apple a go. All right, the hot dog rib liners sandwich from the new hot dog and hamburger cookbook of 1968 was pretty good actually. The taste of the little bit of the onions in there along with the roast pork and the mayonnaise really made for a nice delicious sandwich. I think I would give that about Seven and a half, plussed up with the Granny Smith apples. They added a little bit of tartness. Maybe an eight, plussed up with Grillo's pickles chopped up and deli mustard, say eight and a half, nine. All right, so that's the hot dog rib liners. Am I gonna finish it? Yeah. Would I make it again? Yeah, maybe. It's a little bit of work with the roast pork, um, but it's not a bad sandwich. Um, definitely a plus up over a regular hot dog. This has been Sandwich of History, and uh, Barry, I'll see you tomorrow.